Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another walkthrough of Python for everybody. This is a walkthrough of the Trax CSV application. And you can go to www.py4e.com slash code3, and you will find a file named tracks.zip. Tracks.zip. Download this and extract it, and you will have all the code that I am working with. So here I am in that file. Let's take a look at the... Let's take a look at the files that are in here. So there's an old folder for the old XML version of this application. If you want to try that one, it's still sitting there. Um, the autograder doesn't actually care whether you use the CSV one or the, or the XML one. The XML one is interesting if you have to learn XML. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to take a CSV file, tracks.csv, compass separated values, and this is just a whole bunch of data from my own my own uh, export of my uh, iTunes data then converted to CSV from XML. So it's got you know the title of it, the, the artist, etc. And so we're going to read this one line at a time and then insert it in a database. And the key thing to this database is we're going to make it in normal form, meaning that we're only going to put the artist in once. We're going to have a primary key. They're going to have a unique name, so the word queen is going to only appear once in that table. Um, and so we're going to link everything together through foreign keys like artist ID and album ID. And if we get this thing started, we sort of start her up. We go to trackdb.sqlite. And I want to be able to run this over and over again, so the first thing I do is drop all three tables, and then I recreate them, both in case I want to change my schema or if I just make a mistake and I want to start over. Because as you, if you write this or you're modifying this code, you make little mistakes and you just want to start over. Every time you run the code, you want it to start fresh. So let's take a look at the code that's going to run. We're going to open that tracks.csv file, this one right here. And um, then it's not, a, it's not a super formatted CSV. There's, this is kind of a really simple CSV that's just comm separated versus a true CSV is actually a format. And there's code inside Python that parses the rich CSV format. But I'm just going to read through and split it by commas. And in case there's like some weird piece of code in there and there's not what I want, if, if there's less than six pieces, I'm just going to skip it. So I put a continue in here. And then I parse out the, the pieces, the, the name of the track, the artist, the album, the count, the rating, and the length. And so we're most interested in an artist and album doing a money-to-one relationship into that. So I just immediately print those things out because I want, you know, when I, when I build something like this, I would build these lines first. And yes, it looks like my parsing is working correctly. Then we're going to do the many-to-one. And so we work from kind of the leaves of the tree inward. So we're going to do an insert or ignore into the artist by name. And so whatever that is, queen or whatever. Now that's the first time it's going to actually insert it and assign a primary key. <clears throat> the second time, this ignore is going to work because art, the name on the artist table is defined as unique. And so you can't insert that more than once. So this will work the first time we see a particular artist, but it will, it will ignore it the ne rest of that point. But then we got to figure out what the generated ID is, the primary key. So we're going to select that. So you notice there's an ID in there. That means auto-generate this if I don't give it to you. And so... We're going to grab the ID from artist where name equals and then look that same artist up by the type, by the name of them and then grab the artist ID. This, this is going to be fetch one, get one record, and then the zeroth item, which is there's only one column and there's going to only be one row. And artist ID is what we get. Same thing is true, except now we're going to use artist ID as a foreign key into the album. Um, and so we're going to insert an album idol, a album by title and artist ID is a foreign key in there. And then we're going to do the same trick. Where we're going to look up the ID, the primary key, of that particular album. We're recording the artist ID. If, if we're inserting it, we want to record it. But now we're going to get the primary key of the album, and we'll have that. And then once we get all that figured out, we're kind of working from outward in. So we're doing artist, then we're doing album, and then we're doing track. That's kind of outward in. And then we're going to insert the foreign key album ID, title, length, rating, and count into the table. And then we commit it so that we write it all to the database. So let's go ahead and run this code. Python tracks.py. 
It opens the file, loops through everything, and away you go. So if you look at um, like the last file, and it's microchip, Jason Farnham, and then that is the last record that came out. So, so now at this point, let's take a look at the database. And track db.sqlite, track db that's the file. And I can say, in this, I've got the SQLite browser installed in the command line. You may have it in your ooze. <laughs> I can't even type it. And then track db. OK, so I can say, what tables do I have in here? And I see they got the album artist and track. And I can say select star from artist limit 10. So you see the queens are the first one, Led Zeppelin. These are the primary keys. There is only one record named queen. So I could even say this, select from star from artist where name equals queen. So you'll see that there is only one record. And then if we say select star from track limit 10, we see they're all connected together and we got the primary key for the track. And then the album ID is this uh, third parameter here. And you see, you know, that's album seven. And there's a lot of reuse there in the, in, in the data. So, so let's get out of this. So I'm going to open the SQLite browser. And we're going to open the trackdb.sqlite. So we see that those are the tables that got created. We can take a look at the data. We can go look at, for example, the artist data. We see again one, same kind of data there. See all of them now. And then we can kind of work our way into album. The album has a foreign key of artist ID. And each album has its own ID. And then if we go to track, we see them all together, where we have album ID and this other data, which is not really foreign keys, but we see the album ID foreign key. So that gives you a, hopefully a quick run through of the CSV version of the tracks and the one-to-many uh, mapping into a database.